Hey guys, Technomancer with a video for you guys. In today's video, I'll show you how to fix this issue where it says an uh, update is required to use your cellular data on this iPhone. Now, this is an error message that you may see pop up whenever you are pretty setting up your iPhone for the first time or it just randomly appeared after you did a software update or just you just seen it recently and you can't use cellular update. We can show you guys how this is fixed. Now, this problem could be for multiple reasons, so we're going to walk you through pretty much all the troubleshooting steps that you need to know, and by the end of this video, hopefully this issue will be resolved. So let's dive right into it. So usually that message appears for, like as you said, multiple reasons, but generally around you can't use your cellular data because some sort of software update is needed or it's a bug that's affecting it. So first thing first you want to do is slide down from the top here and then turn on airplane mode. Now it sounds a little funny, but you want to do that and then turn it back off after a few seconds. What this does is does a network reset or refresh, which allows the phone's connectivity to be fixed. And because the cellular network is another connection, connectivity thing that you want to fix, you want to do that. You can also go into settings to do this. So if you go in settings, you can turn on airplane mode, which turns off basically Wi-Fi, but it does, like I said, a network refresh, and I'll turn it back off just like that. Again, refreshes the network, and hopefully that error message goes away. Now, the next thing you want to do is go into settings, and then this time general, and about this time. So when you go to about this time, what happens is a couple things happens here. This allows the phone to recognize if you have a carrier on, and there's a pop-up message that you should get where it says, check to update carry if that pop-up message appears you want to click update again if it doesn't appear right away you can go back again try it again close out settings one more time and this time go to again settings and then general and then about and then you want to click on to see if you get that pop-up message would will automatically say to update the phone click that update option now let's move on to the next thing so the next thing is slightly different so if on a new iphone 14 lineup in the us model we know it's all eSIM. but let's say if you're having this issue on an older model besides the iphone 14 like iphone uh, 13 pro that we have here what we want to do is actually if you install a sim card we want to go ahead and take the SIM out and reinsert it back in. So how do you do that? So I have iPhone 14, 13 Pro here, sorry. I take my SIM ejector tool that's included. Now, if you don't have this SIM ejector tool, you can take a paper clip or an old earring that fits this hole. And then what we're gonna do is pop it, pop the SIM card tray out, get a nice little push. It'll pop up this SIM card tray, as you can see just here. And then once you see that pop up, you'll see a SIM of card in there of course our phone doesn't have a sim card in here but basically you, all you're doing is popping it back in after a few seconds and what that will do is help the phone reread the sim card and anything related with the software of the cellular data which will allow you to go ahead and you know restart reset the phone's network connectivity and hopefully fix any issue that you may be in encountering with that so that's another fix that you can also do on older phones so taking the sim card out and putting it back in now let's move on to the next thing you want to do now if you're still having that issue the next thing you want to do is a force restart now to do a force restart now this will not delete any data media things like photos videos apps everything will be there on your phone all it's doing it's giving the phone a clean refresh slate of restart now it's a little bit more than just uh powering on and off the phone it's kind of reloading the code to do that we're going to go ahead and do, click on the volume up and then click and release the volume down and then hold the side button here just in that process now we're not going to slide to power off we're going to wait till the phone goes completely black so we're just going to keep on pressing that, holding that side button, wait till the Apple logo reappears here. And once the Apple logo reappears, we'll let go of that button. And like I said, this does a forced restart, which again, it fixes a lot of minor software related issues that you may be experiencing. One of the go-to solutions for most Apple software related issue. Again, that was uh, press and releasing the volume up and then press and releasing the volume down and then holding this big side button. Now if the Siri activates when you're doing that most likely you didn't press and release the volume up and down really quick enough. Just keep on trying till you get that and do that force restart. Now moving on to the next thing you want to do if you're still having issues is go into settings 
and this time we're going to go to general and then all the way down here we're going to do where it says transfer reset iPhone we click on that and then this time we're going to do a reset here on the first option here and the reset that we're going to try to do this time is a network reset so that's the second option but before you do that a couple things about a network reset what a network reset does is it pretty much uh, removes all network related settings such as like Wi-Fi saved password if you're a VPN setting anything basically related with the network of the phone it will not delete again any personal data like the photos videos apps or anything like that just the settings related with things like Wi-Fi maybe even Bluetooth even things around well, PPN settings. So before you do that, make sure you're okay with that, losing that, because you'll have to reset up things like Wi Fi and such. But again, if you're having the issue like the cellular data, this is going to be needed to be done. Now, let's move on to the next thing, which you want to do is finally the pretty much the last thing your resort that you can do when it comes to this issue is actually updating the phone software if you can if it's not at the latest version again to do that we're going to be in settings again here and then general and then this time again as you can see software update we're going to check to see if there's an update here as you can see this is the latest version already on the phone but let's say we have a phone like the one right here let's see if we can see an update for that one we'll go into settings and then we'll go to general software update as you can see here on this one we have update which is a 16.2 at the time of recording we're going to go ahead and click that download and install and update that uh in latest update because who knows that might be a issue going on that fixes that issue again that's the last thing you want to do so hopefully at the, by the end of this video right now that we're at one of this issue troubleshooting issues that we have showed you guys fix your problem if so we want to hear from you guys which of that pretty much issue fix this for you guys this cellular update is required we want to leave if help us and leave a comment in the comment section on telling us which one fix it for you and if this does fix it for you please make sure to like and subscribe button thanks for watching guys see you guys next time